Hello everyone, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. My name is Deepak Jaryal and today we shall be looking at the question on arithmetic. I would recommend that you guys please pause the video, attempt the question and then we start. I hope everybody had paused the video and let's try to look at the approach now. The question says the strength of an indigo solution in percentage is equal to the amount of indigo in grams per 100 cc of water. So the first statement is really trying to make you understand what you mean by the concentration of let's say indigo solution here or the amount of indigo in 100 cc in terms of percentage. So if they, they're saying that there are 200 cc bottles are filled with indigo solutions of strengths 33% and 17% respectively. So there are two bottles, bottle one and bottle two. Both of them have a total capacity of 100 ml. Are filled with indigo solutions of strengths 33% and 17% respectively. So if I try to look at the data, I understand out of this 800, 33%, that is 33 times eight would give us 264 ml is indigo, right? And 17% of 800, that is 136, uh, is the indigo solution, is the amount of indigo in the bottle number two. A part of the solution from the, from the first bottle is thrown away and replaced by an equal volume of solution from the second bottle. So, for example, if you throw away X amount from bottle number one, the same X amount is poured from the second bottle into the bottle number one. All right. Now, if the strength of the indigo solution in the first bottle now is changed to 21% in volume, then in CC, then of the solution left is, okay, then the solution of solution left in the second bottle is how much? That is, that is what the question is. Now, if you look at 264 ml was earlier, and now after removing something and adding from the second bottle, I'm left with 21% indigo. So, if you remember, guys, we had thought, that you know, if 800 ml is the initial quantity, if out of which X is removed and X is re-added, I understand the total quantity is still 800. You know? Now out of this 800, now in the next scenario, in the eventual scenario, what is happening is that the total quantity of indigo is only 21%. Earlier it was 33%, now it has changed to 21%. So what is 21% of 800? So 21 times 8 would look like 168. So these are the few numbers that I have. Let's try to put them to use. So for example, I had 264 ml earlier of indigo uh, amount in the total solution, out of which X amount is thrown out. Not out of this total amount, but the to out of 800, this X amount was thrown out. Now when you're throwing out X amount, in, when you, in that particular quantity, the concentration of indigo would still be 33%. So can I say if X amount is thrown out, in that X amount, 33% is still indigo because I cannot subtract total quantity from indigo, right? So I need to subtract indigo from indigo. So we've got indigo initially was 264. If X amount was thrown out, so 33% of X is my quantity of indigo that has gone out with that X. Now, if you remember, I had poured the same quantity quantity of X amount from the second bottle. But in that second bottle, when X amount was poured, the second, second bottle contains only 17% of indigo. So if I add X from the second bottle, the indigo quantity that would be added is only 17% of that particular value. So this plus. So this was there, this was removed, and this was re-added, eventually making the total quantity to be equal to 168. Hope it is clear so far. So we can go, do some calculations. So 264 minus 168 is equal to, this is 16X by 100. So this is 96, 16%. So 16, 6 96, X is equal to 600. So if X is equal to 600, that means from the second bottle, if you remember, we had 800 ml out of which 600 was poured into the first bottle. So the solution left in the second bottle is how much? 200 ml. Now let's try to see a different approach towards the question. Now, as you saw that in the bottle one, the concentration of indigo quantity or indigo concentration was 33%. 
which eventually changed to 21 percent now in the entire story what has happened is that we had 100 ml i removed some quantity but when i removed some quantity in that removed quantity the concentration of indigo was 33 percent so can i say in the remaining quantity also the concentration of indigo would be 33 percent also so this is the this 33 percent is representing the percentage of indigo in the remaining quantity of bottled one right now when you are adding the same quantity or same amount of x from the second bottle in that the concentration of indigo is still still 17% so in this 33% i am adding 17% indigo making the overall concentration to be equal to 21% now we must look at this 33% of what values this 17% of what value and this 21% of what value let's try to understand this 33% is 33% of the indigo solution left in the remaining bottle of bottle 1. Now this 17% is the quantity or the concentration of indigo that was in the, in, the, in the amount that was taken from the second bottle. Now this 21% is the 21% is representing the concentration of indigo in the total amount of bottle 1. Because when you remove x, and you add x, the total amount of bottle 1 would still be equal to 800. Now, this is representing the concentration in the entire bottle. This is representing the concentration of uh, indigo in the left out quantity in bottle 1. This is the 17% is representing the concentration of indigo in the quantity that was taken in. So, if I look at, if I take allegation, if I do allegation here, so 17 minus 21, the difference is 4. This is how much? Uh, 12. Now, if I look at this, 4 is to 12 is how much? 1 is to 3. Now, what does this 1 is to 3 means? This 1 is the quantity of solution left in the bottle 1. This 3 representing the quantity of uh, amount that you're taking from the uh, bottle 2 and 1 plus 3 that looks like 4 this is the total quantity in bottle 1 right now in terms of ratios it is 4 in actually if you remember 800 was the total quantity earlier you removed x and you added x so eventually the total quantity is still 800 now when in terms of ratios we are representing the total quantity as 4 but in total in actual quantity is 800 so to make 4 to 800, I have to multiply by 200. So that would give us 100 into uh, 200 into 1. That would give us 200. And 200 times 3 would give us 600. Multiply by 200 would give us 600. So 600 is the quantity that you're taking from the second vessel. So remember in the second vessel, we had 800 ml. Out of which 600 is taken and poured into this first bottle. That means... The left out quantity in the second bottle is how much? 200. I hope everybody is clear. If you've understood the question, please try the replica question and write down your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much.